Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Chris. I've been in the IT field for over 20 years. And today we're going to take a look at Fedora 41. So if we go to the website, the Fedora Magazine website here, here's our ISOs where we can download the 41 beta. But um, what is new with it? Basically, goodbye Python 2. So they're getting rid of Python 2. Packages requiring Python 2.7 at runtime will need to upgrade to a new version. The proprietary NVIDIA driver has been added back to GNOME software. We've got DNF5. What's cool about it is instead of using the RPM OS tree, now you'll be able to use DNF with the atomic desktop. So we'll have to try that out on the silver blue image. All right, RPM 4.2. KDE Plasma Mobile Spin. All right, LXQT 2.0. Ports the whole desktop to QT6 and adds experimental Wayland support. Okay, so I'm gonna go up here, go ahead and grab the 41 beta, download it, write it to an ISO, and then I'll see you on the boot menu. All right, we made it to the boot menu, so I'm just going to do Start Fedora Workstation Live 41 Beta. And we'll let that boot up. All right, I'm just going to click on install Fedora. Select our language, continue. And this is just letting us know that this is the uh, 41 beta. I want to proceed. And the Fedora install has gotten really slim over the years. Uh, it's pretty much just the keyboard layout, your time zone, and then you select your hard drive. So that's what we'll, we'll do now. And then check this little box, free up this space by shrinking existing partitions. When we click done, we'll have more options here. And it's got my 40 gig hard drive that I've allocated for Fedora 41. Go ahead and delete all, reclaim the space. And now it will use that 40 gig partition. I'm just going to click on begin install. So very simple, very straightforward. And we'll just let Fedora 41 beta install. All right, and that did finish installing, so I'm just gonna click on the finish install button. And then up in the top right, I'm just going to go to the power and restart. And I will see you on the first login. Okay, and we're greeted with this welcome to Fedora Linux 41 Workstation Edition pre-release. Start setup. And you can do location services here if you'd like. Enable third-party repositories. Let's do the Linux T guy. Next. Put in a super secret password. Start using. Typically, we're greeted with a, yeah, here we go. Take the tour. We'll do that for demonstration purposes. Let's begin. Next, get an overview. So we press the super button. It basically snap into our workspaces here where we can use our mouse wheel to switch between. We've got our dock at the bottom with the applications. 
and then we've got our gnome button we can click basically does the same thing then we can type to search so if we wanted like calculator and it's got our date and our time and then our network sound and power options which has the screenshot options lock and power and then our network dark or light and then the power mode we wanted to use so let's go ahead and switch to dark you can tell that the background and this window just changed colors so go next powerful search we just saw that if i press super we can type in here and search for things stay organized with workspaces again press super you can switch between workspaces and if you're on a laptop you can use three fingers to swipe up and down left and right and that's it okay so what we'll do is I'll press super I'll bring up known software and just go to updates and I will let this download and install all the updates and then uh, give it a reboot okay and those updates did finish I'm gonna go ahead and restart and I'll see you on the other side and this is what that installing update screen looks like so if you get this on a reboot don't freak out just let it complete and it'll boot up into Fedora all right we've made it back from the restart and if we go into our notifications here we see that software updates were installed it just lets us know that so that's fine I'm gonna press super I'm gonna type in terminal and now let's try fast fetch and that did work we're running Fedora 41 Linux kernel 6.11.0-63 FC 41 and that is the 64-bit version we've got 2090 RPM packages the shell is bash 5.2.32 our desktop environment is GNOME 47 we are running Wayland we're using two gigs of our allocated eight. Okay, let's go grab a piece of software. So I'm just gonna do super, and we'll go to the bottom, and we'll do the GNOME software store. And then in the top left, I'm just gonna click, and I'm gonna type in Inkscape. And there's Inkscape. And under the sources, under the install button here, the sources, Fedora Linux. So this is the flat pack version using the Fedora repo or we could use the RPM package, or we can use FlatHub. So the RPM package will be a lot smaller. It is the system package, so let's see here. Download size, 18 megabytes. We switch back to Flatpak. You can see 96. So keep that in mind. I'm just gonna stick with the default Fedora uh, Flatpak repo. Click on install. Alright, it does look like that finished. So I'm just going to click on open. And you can see we've got our Inkscape application. I can close the GNOME software store. And we've got Inkscape. And to close out of this, you just right click on this picture here and you can click close. Okay, let's take a look at the system monitor. So I'm just going to do super again. And there's system monitor. Bring that to the middle so I can zoom in. And under resources, our CPU is one, two, three percent. Our memory is 2.5 gigs. All right, let's see what version of Firefox we've got. So super, click on Firefox at the bottom. And then the hamburger menu, help, and about. And we've got Firefox browser 130.0.1. Okay, let's look at the appearance and the wallpapers. So if I just right click on the desktop and go to settings here, you can see you can change from light to dark. 
which is the same as this shortcut up here under our menu in the top right. So I'll pick dark and you can also change from blue to teal to green, you know, change your accent color here. And if we scroll down a little further, we've got our different wallpapers. This is the default one. So just to change to show you that it does work and switch to that one. Let's see if the new version of Fedora is compatible with my toolbox. So if I let all, let's go github.com slash the Linux IT guy. And we want the toolbox. And now this is what it looks like here. And I want to scroll down just a bit because I want to install it. I'll get this guy and then we'll pull up a terminal. And we'll just paste that in. Press enter. And we got the toolbox here. So now let's say I want to install the Brave browser, uh, Discord, and I'll go MPV. And I also want to remove LibreOffice. And we've already installed FastFetch, so we could do the swap fix. Go ahead and press run. It wants our super secret password. Go ahead and put that in. GNOME is known to prompt you when a window stops responding. You can just ignore this. You can see in the terminal here that we are running. It's going out and it's grabbing the Brave browser and it's installing it for us. So just ignore this. Once it's finished, this should go away. If it doesn't, we'll just click wait. But uh, we'll let this run. All right, MPV wants our passwords. We'll go ahead and type that in. Okay, and it's finished now. So what I could do is, since we did the swap fix, that does modify a file that requires a reboot before it takes effect. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna say no here just so we can see about this GNOME. Yeah, so as soon as I hit no there, the GNOME prompt saying that the Python script had um, halted, went away. And we're presented with the applications that have been installed and are removed. So we can click OK on that. And then we can close out of the toolbox. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and give it a restart so we can verify that the swap fix has been installed successfully. All right, so now let's verify what the toolbox just did, right? So we'll bring up a terminal and bring it to the middle. And if we do cat, proc, sys, vm, swappiness, you can see that value is now 10. And we no longer have any Libre software installed. You do see we have Brave, Discord, and there's MPV. So it did work. All right, let's give a look at the HTOP. So I'm just going to bring up the terminal. We'll do HTOP. And we can see our CPU is between 1 to 3%. And our memory is sitting at about 1.7, 1.8. Hey, if you like this video, here are some other videos you may find helpful and informative. This has been Chris, the Linux IT guy, and I'll see you in the next one.